Are we streaming online? Let me check the feed. Hey, Terry. Hi, John. Well, this is a special uh, day. This is our first time doing a Facebook Live. Um, we're calling it CBM Calling. Now, welcome to day three of CBM Calling. Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining us for CBM Calling. Thank you, John and Terry. Uh, hi, everyone. Hello. 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 Bonjour tout le monde et bienvenue. We are so happy to speak in English tonight. <laughs> and um, I am. I can tell you from experience that he is an excellent builder of composting latrines. I'm on I'm on live on Facebook, Daddy. Hi, Hi. Hi to everybody. Hi there. Uh, I, I definitely feel you on that I'm preparing. Um but I'm going to ask you now to show me again how we're going to make the perfect cup of coffee, then we're going to carry on with our conversation. This is an unprecedented experience, isn't it? But what it means is we are created in the image of God, and that matters. And we matter to God, and our lives should matter to yeah. Right now, for example, the Baptist Road Alliance, in partnership with CBM and other members of uh, the BWA's aid network, are working on a variety of uh, aid projects in some of the most critically impacted areas around the world. In the midst of devastation, there's opportunity for innovation. But the staff are still active. They uh, care for the people in their programs. Reverend Thames of the pastor had a truckload of rice bags in that. Organize something to get, you know, food hampers to pastors and me. We have this empty, empty space and we have been thinking how we can serve our community, serve the country. Yeah, it's definitely been a steep learning curve and uh, and just finding different ways to help people. And our God will always give us hope. It's encouraging to see that all the youth leaders, all the youth ministries are motivated. Everybody wants to help. And so we have a lot of people calling us all the time, just please, how can you use me? How can I help? Uh, schools and churches of our Baptist community have been used for shelters. And people are seeing the difference. And we praise God that is giving us the opportunity to share the gospel with people over there. I want to thank you, Jennifer, and, and all of CBM um, for continuing to support this very unique ministry. It's, it's amazing for rural churches in Canada. They are involved in what God's doing in Sudan and Morocco and Syria and Lebanon. I feel like they're kind of kernels of kernels of grain that are, are being sown, and, and you see, we'll see down the road how they grow and how um, they flourish. Knowing that we're united, you know, and I feel like we are, are united and we always pray for our partners as well and have mentioned, you know, the Canadian Baptist Ministries by name multiple times. So I think it's really exciting actually. Uh, and that's why it's great to have um, the Canadians on board with those with those values of partnership and invitation. Merry, Merry, Merry Christmas! Christmas. Okay, I think that actually worked. I'm stunned at my own technical abilities. <laughs>